Sean West, the exceptional 135 pound champ. With this victory, it could send me to a lot more places. Manny Vasquez, I, he is a, an important piece of my puzzle. He's a Bellator vet, former world champion for LFC. I'm number one in Iowa, he's number one in Illinois. Uh, it's a fight that's supposed to happen. I'm Manny Vasquez, I'm from Elmhurst, Illinois. I train out the Midwest Training Center, Team 110, and 10th planet Lombard. I fight because I love competing, and this gave me something to do after wrestling was over. After I finish this fight and get this belt, I plan on bringing the UFC by this summer. I'm excited to get a 35 or shooting at me like that again so I can put his head in the mat and really make it rain. I know Sean wants to ask for this fight. I think that was a bad move, big mistake on his part. You tell me I can't do it, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Uh, I used to tell people growing up, you don't gotta be scared to get beat up, bro, or you don't gotta be a bitch to be beat up, you know? And he's not coming here for, for his accomplishment. He's coming here for me. Sean West is a tough guy. He's got power in his hands, he's got good cardio, and uh, he always comes to fight. Like I said, man, this is a fight that's been in the making. This fight, that was, that was gonna happen. This fight is a must. Uh, this is the best style matchup for him, and when we get out, I'm going to beat him up. The question is, can he put strikers who, who hit as hard as me in his camp, you know what I mean? Pretty much better everywhere, but uh, he's always dangerous uh, from bell to bell, so I just got to be careful. The game plan does not change. I knock people out. It's what I do. Good luck. Uh, you're definitely going to need it. See you in March. Fight night. Main event. Let's go. After two days, countless fights, well not countless, but a lot of fights, we come to the main event of night two of Cage Aggression 21, the champions. And making his way to the octagon is Manny Vasquez, 5'10", fighting out of Elmwood Park, Illinois, and Midwest Training Center. He enters competition tonight with a win-loss record of 11 wins versus three losses. I really look forward to watching this main event. Manny Vasquez being the number one guy from Illinois. You know, he's obviously going to come in here highly touted, a lot of confidence. And, you know, he should. He's got a lot of conf confidence in his abilities. 11 and 3, that's a great record. So I'm excited to see. You know, I haven't watched, I've watched a couple of his fights, but I've never watched him live. He's never fought in the cage aggression cage before. And I'm excited to see it. Yeah, definitely got the Illinois versus Iowa battle going on right now. The, the number one ranked fighters, like you said, in, in both states. I mean, this, this is the matchup that has to happen. You got to see who's the best. It's like the battle of the 74 bridge, man. Let them meet, <laughs> meet in the middle and bang it out. Yeah, Manny Vasquez, man. Very uh, talented fighter coming off a of fight guard. Now making his way to the cage aggression octagon is Sean the Exception West, 5 foot 11, fighting out of Davenport, Iowa, and Midwest Martial Arts Group in Big Five performance. He enters competition tonight with a win-loss record of 15 wins versus eight losses. Sean West, man, we know what, what to expect say? from him, yeah. man. We've seen him many, many times. Um, love the guy, man. He. Uh, is a for sure finisher. He's looking to knock you out. He ain't he's going to tell you what he wants to do before he gets in there, and he's not lying. He's coming in there to knock you out. So you know he's going to want to keep it standing. Um, but he's got he's got his hands full against a good uh, jiu-jitsu guy right now. You know, so we'll see if he can implement his game plan and, and do what it takes to get that W tonight. Yeah, I know he's focused, man. I I had a chance to, to talk with him yesterday. Um, while we were doing the, the, the beginning of uh, night one, and he said he's focused, man. He he knows at this point in his career that uh, he has to turn it up, and he has to go as hard as he can go. Everything counts now. There's there's no more playing around. There's no games. Everything means so much to him right now. So you know he's 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 done everything that he can to be ready for this fight. So we just have to see what the what the end result is going to be. But um, yeah, I know he's ready. He's been at it hard for the last couple of years, man. 
I've, I've really enjoyed watching him grow as a fighter and watching him progress uh, and really working on his record and getting some good solid wins, man. This guy's tough everywhere and he's and he's got the heart of a lion, man. Sporting a little bit of damage to his eye. He's got a little little yellow mark on his eye. Well, you know that means he's draining yeah, hard. Been working. Been putting in that work. So let's see if he uh and think about Sean. Display that. Think about Sean, man. Is he uh, cares a lot about his guys outside of the, uh, uh, besides himself, a lot of about his teammates, man. He's he's done a lot for his teammates, you know, and he's done a lot for also uh, the community of Davenport as well too. Outside of here, man, he's a uh, he wants to be a role model, and uh, you know you got to respect that at all times. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds for the Caged Aggression Professional Bantamweight Championship and powered by 7G Distributing, Bud Light. Introducing first the challenger fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed in at 135 pounds. He trains at the Midwest Training Center and is sponsored by Hypnotic Brand, America's Best Home Restoration, Tent Planet Jiu-Jitsu, Innovative Sports Medicine, TFW DuPage, Dude Wipes, Team 110, and Sucker Punch Entertainment. Joining us from Elmwood Park, Illinois, Manny Vasquez! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 136 pounds. He trains with Big Five Performance and MMAG, and is sponsored by Frick's Tap, Culture Shock Barbershop, LSS Handyman Services, Squirrels Tree Service, Outdoor Specialist LLC, Balanced Chiropractic, 74 Garage Doors, Whiteout Promotions, Community Contractors Cedar Valley, Say Uncle Photography, Affordable Auto Care, and Pipe Dreams. Joining us from Davenport, Iowa, he's your reigning, defending, caged aggression, professional bantamweight champion, the exception, Sean West. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. You guys have five rounds to bang for the Cage Aggression Professional Bantamweight Championship. Do you have any questions, Sean? Do you have any questions, Manny? Touch them up now if you wish. <laughs> Touch them <it> up now. <laughs> Touch them up now if you wish, and let's do this. Manny Vasquez in the red corner, Sean West in the blue corner. Your referee for tonight's action is the boss, Bruce Allen. Jeremy J.D. Dorsey along with Zach McElright and Josh Neal. Man, it's been a pleasure, fellas. Let's watch some fights. Last one. Let's watch this last oh, fight. I'm excited for this. It's got my hair standing up, man. Very nice. John, John Steiniger with the Squirrels Tree Care, Culture Shock Barbershop, you know, sporting a fresh fade by Brandon Scott. You know, he's just supporting his local businesses here. Good jab by Manny there. Another good leg nice kick by Nice leg kick by Shawnee. Maybe he was in the back watching a little bit of uh, Wise's fight. He's in a lot of those lead leg kicks. 
Sean in his last couple fights has really uh, been savvy with his switching stances. You know, he switched to southpaw quite often. It's very calm and cool right now, man. He he loves being there. You can tell he's at home in there, man. He is definitely sure. on his toes, man. Really calm, hands down, finessing is what I said. Ooh, yeah. Nice little short uppercut there. Good switch of stance there by Sean. Sub kicks. You can see Vasquez right now trying to work to solve the puzzle, man. Yeah, you know, he's not staying too active. But oh, oh, nice little hit by Sean, but he gets a little slip there. He's got a leg high, you know, could work a triangle, but. Man, he's got good pressure on his leg, keeping from getting that triangle there. Big good elbows elbow there by Sean. Sean. And they're right on top of the head. That's fully legal. Oh, another one. Good one to the ear. Oh, another. Sean here has got to get up. He'll start the wall walk. Yep. Let yep. go of the guard. He either needs to get his head off the center of the cage or needs to get his butt in the corner and start walking. Manny's doing a good job keeping posture, keeping his legs up high, keeping Sean's legs elevated. But, you know, Sean's no stranger to this position. You know, he's tra he trains with a lot of great guys, great jiu-jitsu guys. You know, and obviously his game plan is to get back up and stay in 10th plan of jiu-jitsu. Uh, for Manny, you know, he, this is probably his bread and butter right here. This is where he wants to be. We'll see if he can keep him here. Man, he's doing a good job staying busy on top, throwing punches, just peppering a little bit, just enough, you know, to where, you know, Bruce likes what he's seeing and he, he keeps him there. No. Sean West, he's right in his corner, though, man. He's got a lot of good guys in there, man. He's got Pat Melitic over there. He's got Junior Hernandez over there. Oh, a couple of legal oh. face kicks there, a little heels to the face there uh, from Sean. Yeah, you're going to have to give Manny a few seconds. To yeah, he's wincing a little bit from his eyes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe got a little heel sweat in his eyes or something. Sean goes to a neutral corner. You know, obviously it was an accident. You know, I'll give him five minutes to recover. He's got all the time. Good way to recognize that by Bruce Buffer too. Bruce Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Allen, the boss. I can't believe I said that. The man, the myth, the legend, Bruce Allen. Come on now. The world champion thumb wrestler. <laughs> Did you guys know that? <laughs> oh, toe wrestler. Toe wrestler, man. What are you talking about? He's got a thumb toe. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we need to start this again. We don't need to do this again. We've already talked about it before. Sorry. Bruce is Bruce Allen is giving him all the time to recover, making sure he's okay before he continues to fight. Oh, taking a point. Buffer's gonna take a point. <laughs> Said it again. A point right away. Was, this, was, this it, was it for two? Was, you think it was because it was two of them he took a point? or? I think it's just because it was a, 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 a blatant foul. You know, it, it doesn't really warrant a warning. If he does damage with it, it's, I mean, it's, it's the referee's discretion. Good job by, oh, not, good job by Bruce, too, on, you know, letting them back to the position that they belong. But now the scramble... Gets Sean 
in a really risky position here. Sean's doing a good job staying calm. Mandy's working the choke here and it looks tight. Oh. Oh, gets yeah. the choke. Yeah. And you have to wonder how much that losing that point, you know, just takes the takes the focus away from you, you know? Just that those 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 quick seconds right there and man. Sportsmanship by both these guys. Man. Great job. I mean, he, he climbed them like a tree and yeah. wrapped his legs around like a grapevine. And we knew coming in that that was Vasquez's game, man. Yeah, for sure. Really nice performance by Manny Vasquez, and, and as much as we say that the, uh, the, the 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 situation could have went negatively for him by taking those shots from uh, Sean West that were illegal, um, he was able to shake it off and pull out a very impressive win. Uh, you know, coming into into Davenport and stealing a win from Sean West. Most definitely in that in that uh, restart position, they wasted no time. Yep. Got on his game quickly. It's kind of like how you see in a wrestling match, man. They go down and then. Says go and boom, it's boom right there, you know. Yeah, for he sure. And you know, with that restart, Sean tried to kind of push off a little bit, create space, and he climbed all he climbed all over him. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bruce Allen, has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds into round one, declaring your winner by submission due to rear naked choke and new caged aggression professional bantamweight champion, Manny Haskell. Come on over here, Manny. All right, I'm here with our winner, and new caged aggression professional bantamweight champion, Manny Vasquez. Manny, I know it was a long, hard road to number one bantamweight in Illinois. Here you are with one of the most prestigious titles in Iowa. How's it feel now, sir? Uh, this is huge. Uh, dude, I was nervous as shit for this fight, and I trained harder than I have in a long time for Sean. He's dangerous. I felt it every time he hit me, and uh, you know, he's a bad dude to ask for the toughest fights and win more than more than he loses, you know, he's, he's fucking awesome. And uh, thanks to my good one, it's a great show. I've, I've been watching you guys since I was, a, you know, a, even a younger kid than I am now. And I, I love the show and it's a super honor to have this belt. And I love all my family over there who came three hours away. And uh, I needed this win and it feels really good right now. Well, it was definitely a hard-fought victory. Um, you know, Sean held on to that belt for a long time. I was gonna say, was there anything that uh, he came at you with that you weren't expecting, or anything, anything that surprised you there? He knocked me off my feet with a leg kick. Like that's fucking nuts, you know. But uh, I, uh, yeah, he, he hit me hard. He got me with a good uppercut. Um, I was trying to stay tight, but he was still getting through. Uh, but you know, I, I, I knew what I was good at. I knew where I was gonna wanted to go if I wanted to go there so you know I just I Chicago UFC's coming to Chicago in June and I belong on that card I'm I'm the best bantamweight in the Midwest and I proved that there's a couple guys that I wouldn't mind fighting on that card and uh yeah I I hope I get on that well I'll tell you what you're on the right card here tonight to try and make an appearance for that. We'll definitely be pulling for you, but at the same time, it'll be sad to see because we know that means we won't get to see you defend that one. But I'll tell you what, in the meantime, I want you to go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for your winner and new caged aggression professional bantamweight champion, 
Manny Vasquez, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thanks to America's Best. Uh, you know, thank you to all my friends and family. Thank you to my, my coaches. Uh, Frank Lozano, Alex Trujillo, Oka Ocasio. Um, and yeah, thank you to Hypnotic Brand. Everybody that helps me, you know, get to where I'm at. Thank you again, Manny. Pleasure again. All right, come over here, Sean. I'm here, I'm here, uh, and I do have to point out record holding defending champ, Sean West. What do you have to say, sir? If it ain't the UFC belt, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I love, I love case aggression, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I do this. I do this because I want to fight at the highest level, so. Um, if I can't compete at the highest level, this sport really isn't for me. And for that, I lost my belt, and the only show I'll ever accept is a Bellator or a uh, UFC fight from here on out, because that's the level I feel like I compete at. Um, I ask for the best every time. I never take nothing lightly. But uh, tonight, for my family, I, I gotta go be a daddy. I gotta go be a dad, and I gotta go work. And uh, my dream, for right now has come to an end because uh, you know there's things more important and I'm not able to compete at the level that I need to or want to to keep the fire burning. With everything that I have said, thank you guys, man. This ain't the UFC and, I, and I'm not trying to be dramatic about this, but this is a big moment for me. It's the highest stage I've fought on so far. Best show, hands down. I love you guys. I read my career 16 and nine. I love y'all. Class act, ladies and gentlemen. One last time for the winner, the exception, Sean West. No, nobody asks for fights that tough uh, again and again. You know what I mean? He's a bad motherfucker, and he can, he can compete in the UFC. So I hope you keep going. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, River Center. Get on your feet one last time for Sean West.